right. What's, go what's going on, everybody? This is Jay Leno. I am here with the crew. Got Javen Bundle in the building. What's up? Say what's up to the people, people. Yeah. All right, guys. I mean, look. We've got this Penguin series. We're going to be covering episodes one and two. We're going to start off with you, Dave. How would you feel with, like, the, the this, this whole series, the idea of it, the beginning? Like, you know what I mean? You don't have to give us the whole episode, but just let me know, you know. What's your um, as a big, big Batman fan, that's my guy. Um, my ride, I stand for. He's tattooed on the body, all that. Um, uh, love it. Love it. I mean, uh, early in my years, uh, Penguin was not a favorite character to a lot of people. And through Gotham, through this series right here, through the last Batman movie, Penguin is really starting to grow to be one of my favorite characters up there with the Joker, honestly. I got you. I got you. I mean, I have no disagreements there. Um, how about you, Bundle? Would you, you know, this whole idea of uh and this extension or is it the extension from the it's it's a from the batman movie and all that like what's what's, what's you know what's I, your take on this i think this is a fantastic addition to what we have because anyone who's been paying attention to dc outside of the movies knows that i mean um <laughs> outside of the comics knows that the dc has not been doing well the dc completely died apparently james gunn is taking it over but this little neo-noir, you know, neolithic Gotham thing that he's done, Matt Reeves has done with Robert Patterson's, you know, Batman, I really dug it. We talked about it on here. It was really good. But the the fact that Penguin, Colin Farrell's Penguin, you forget that it's even him, had probably about eight to nine minutes of screen time in that movie. And it was so good that they gave him a spinoff and he <laughs> is delivered here. This doesn't even feel like a comic book show. This feels like... Yeah, a gangster show like ripped out yeah. of Sopranos episode yeah. or something like that, uh -huh. just with yes, characters so with comic book you know names, but they don't even really identify. He's been called Penguin one time in the series. I mean, it just it doesn't. I mean, they've made one mention to Batman in the very first episode. Batman it might be the most uninteresting thing about this entire dynamic. The show is completely. I didn't think that Penguin would be able to stand alone in his own series like this. And it, it, it's gripping. It's it's gory. It's rated R. It's it's got all the under, under, underlying things that you think that Gotham would embellish. You know what I mean? And and it shows it. And it, nah, this show is way better than I thought it'd be. Way better. I I, yeah. I, I mean I I absolutely agree with you. And I mean the I mean I mean even in in the episode one, it definitely picks like literally right off at the end with like penguins staring away. And like to also add on to that, to, uh, to add on to what you had said uh, regarding the uh, uh, the gangster culture that that this Gotham displays. I mean, it's it's always kind of been around in the comics, but I guess with that Gotham series, we got moments of it. But I really felt like like this this uh, this series is definitely giving us the the the, the tone and the dangerousness that. I don't know we may not have seen before on 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 film at least to my eyes. Um, uh, uh, also, to add on, guys, like okay, so would you say that this series reminds you more of of Godfather or Scorsese or Sopranos? Like Jay, what's you know, like is it is any is this is the culture of this show kind of like drawing any comparison to you? I would have to go with um, Casino. Casino, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, taking taking over, <laughs> um, understanding the lay of the land and taking over the top. I mean, it definitely gives the vibes of being well thought, well plotted, well planned, uh, scheming. I mean, uh, I, honestly, it, it puts you in a mafia version of Game of Thrones. In a <laughs> You have this. You have this kingdom of of Gotham's underworld crime, and you have everybody scheming and plotting and finding a way to the top. You know, uh, you have the Falcons, you have the Maronis, you have Penguin. People are plotting, coming together, forming alliances, lying about it. I mean, it's it's an ugly, beautiful thing. 
Not gonna lie. To you. <laughs> it's like it's like see, it's like glorifying the the betrayal and destruction. It's it's almost it's it's, it's very thick fear s almost. I mean, the only thing uh, that that might make it difficult to draw in that comparison might be like. Like seeing the penguin has true love, but I mean, like it's it's almost a, a tragedy at the at, at at the same point of all this. Um, what about you, Bundle? Like, if you were to make a comparison to any gangster films and culture, do you can, is there anything in like do you see this this no. series uh, drawn closer towards, or anything you want to compare this to? See, uh, yeah, exactly what he said too. Sopranos definitely well. Um, they even film specific scenes almost exactly how uh <clears throat> godfather did i mean hell uh, the last episode second second episode right when they tell her uh luca tells sophia you know maybe you should go off to um italy and then like she kind of just sits there and looks john vd walks in and kind of stares at her and they kind of just shut the door and it's kind of just her staring off in the background the same thing they did to michael and Godfather 3, and that, that's how I remember two. I can't remember which one, but that's exactly how it ended. That was completely influenced Scorsese's shot. But yeah, it draws plenty of um, comparisons on everything we just said, touched on, especially I think Sopranos as well. Um, yeah, yeah, man. I mean, any any type of, of those type of mob, what's that one? Um, what's that one show that he made? Uh, not show. Scorsese made a Netflix film not too long ago called The Irishman. Oh, yeah, remember that? yeah, yeah, like that. yeah. Mm-hmm. There's, there's some hit and run aspects of that, um, especially the way that Sophia uh, uses her hitman and the way um, Maroney used his uh, hitman towards the uh, the drop and shit. But I, I'll talk more about that later. But yes, yes, this thing draws correlations through all those old gangster movies and films. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Okay, I'm 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 glad you 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 uh you hit that that uh that break button because we're not we're not going to completely get into it just yet. I got a I got a couple of silly questions to ask. Uh, uh up uh uh Jonin level said yo what, what up, up Jonin what up Jonin right. upwards in the building as well. Uh, uh what up what up, what up upwards? Upward. Yeah. All right, so okay, um just just sidebar with 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 giving penguin the device. Uh, and function the apparat the umbrella apparatus would that ruin or make this series corny? Uh, he doesn't need the apparatus on his eye. He doesn't need that, and I don't think they'll do that. I mean, the gold tooth, the scars on his face, it it, it doesn't enough. But I yeah. mean, I'm sure he's already been in the scene where it's been raining. But I'm sure we'll see him another scene where it's raining with maybe an umbrella or something like that. But he he doesn't need. Well, you, those. you know what I mean? The umbrella yeah. with the gun, the umbrella with all the attachments. With that, he doesn't need. He doesn't need that Tim Burton gimmicky stuff. That's that's not. Yeah. That's not this yeah. world. That's yeah. not this world. He because he would have pulled that out in the first movie when he was getting chased by Batman. You know what I mean? When him and Jim Gordon hemmed him up and they were showing him the pictures, I was like, "Ah, oh, what are you showing me? Oh, come on!" You know, he was doing stuff like that. You know, you see his soft spot for Victor Aguilar, who is not a character in the comics. And you see a soft spot for his dementia having mom, dance award and stuff like that. So, we we're not gonna go into that that gimmicky part yeah. about him. Penguin is a moniker, is 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 a nickname that he has gained a game that he certainly does not like. And it, we're, we're not going to get that. We're not going to get that. We're getting this raw, rugged. If this is real, this is how it would be in a real world. That's we're what getting it is. A, we're, we are getting a psychotic gangster. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. technically, all gangsters is, is, is uh, psychotic. This is a more <laughs> realistic take than Christopher <laughs> yeah. Nolan's world. Yeah. This is how it actually would be if Batman yeah. was there. This is why. Oh. This is how the underworld would be yeah. if someone was psychotic enough to go ahead and blow up all the seawalls on the side yeah. of the cities and then flood the city and crime yeah, rate goes up more a sociopath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well calculated yeah. sociopath. Yeah. Upward right. says that yeah. that that uh Sophia also had played in the Sopranos as well. Mm. So okay. I mean so so here I mean there there we have it. They even you know probably cast it and, and definitely you use that as a reference yeah. point. This is the same studio, so you gotta remember this is the same studio. So exactly. they have yeah. all of that in the backlog, all of that in the in the drop. So they're able they did. to pull those resources. Yeah. They did change Sophia, but they also kept her similar. But I think we're gonna get to that in a minute, so I'll wait. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we we definitely will. I also appreciate the uh uh 
HBO Max and, and the studios dropping this in the same month as Batman Day. So, mm-hmm. like, just to play complete homage, um, I've definitely seen moments because I'm, I'm catching up as well on my Batman lore and comics. And um, a lot of these influence come from the uh, Batman Halloween, I think it's first version as well. Um, actually, if I'm not mistaken, that's the first time we were introduced to Sophia is through that comic. For you comic book uh, uh, readers out there, I would highly suggest of uh, uh, going back. I'm pretty sure you'll probably find a, a channel or a video of, to give you guys an insight on uh, Sophia. Um, so... Let me see here. So looking at my notes here. So Alberto and Sophia were both serial killers. Yeah. Yeah. The but, holiday hunter or something like that. Yeah, exactly. The holiday, the holiday yeah. killer. Uh, Alberto uh, was originally the hol- holiday killer. And then we have Sophia in the comics who also was hangman. the hangman. Yeah. So yeah. Now, like the aesthetics of Sophia, when I looked at the image of her, look, yeah, but I say she was way more brawling. She was like, like Bane, like almost. So yeah, yeah exactly. She could bang Bane. too. She could fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. She put the most uh, those scars on her face. She did that to herself to look like her daddy. Mm-hmm. And then, um, did you guys know? I mean, do you guys care that they? Uh, uh, I believe they uh, they they cast swapped. Uh, uh, one of the characters is that Valcone that got uh, the actor got switched. One of the actors did because the original guy was the one guy from uh, Brother Art Thou. I forgot his name, but I mean, I guess it doesn't make that it doesn't make that much of a difference. But um, so going into it, um, uh, uh, Ross, uh, Jave, uh, did you guys did you think it was kind of weird how Penguin Penguin? To, I mean, for Penguin to kill Alberto or how he killed Alberto, like that whole scene. Nah, nah. Um, to me, uh, that was the true essence of who Penguin is. I mean, um, this underworld of Gotham is crime families. Uh, everything is an opportunity. Uh, everything is an inch closer to getting more power. So um, I thought he was actually going to kill him a lot faster than he did. <laughs> you know, I thought as soon as he seen him, bow, it was over. But I mean, he slow roasted. I mean, he had a conversation with him, got him drunk, you know, fed him, you know, spoke long, and then did it off impulse. But if if I'm, you know, knowing Penguin, it, he's always had plans to take over. So I, I thought eventually he was going to see a weakness and, and move in on it, which he already did. Okay, okay. Uh, Bundle, uh, as far as Alberto's death, um, do you do you think do you, I mean would do you think they handled it well? Like, do you have any references to know if like was was Alberto that naive? Was he <laughs> that, well, you know, was he that it in time? No, you know what I mean? Like they changed him. Unaware? They changed him, which they've done pretty much to everybody in here to some degree. But um, they 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 made him this drop addict, alcoholic, you know what I mean, instead of the, you know, the maniacal killer that it was, which was cool. Okay, and it, and, okay. And it, and it, and it, uh, it, it gave, it gave it another, you know, another layer, of, you know, of, of the show, how Penguin gets out of the shit that he gets out of, you know, the things that he was yelling at Vic, I'm not going to get to episode two as well, but you got to adapt, you got to survive, and it's just, I know he did it out of impulse, and we see why, because he doesn't want anyone you know, making fun of him. Hell, I mean, even in the first uh, episode, you saw where it had, like, handicap things. You know, he had the option to take that. He would sit in a different seat. It was a handicap way to go up the stairs a certain way. He took the opposite way. So he didn't like being made fun of like that. But how they handled Alberto, I just think they just used it as a way to show character development with him and to really grip and grab the person that we're going to kill a car mine, not just in the first episode, within the first five minutes. So, and because of who Sophia is and Johnny Vitti and Luca and going forward with Salvatore, Salvatore, however you want to say it, Maroney, he was an easy scapegoat to get you the shock factor, but we don't really need you to tell the story. So, well, yeah. killing him that way, it, it worked and it was right. It was cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I got you. I got yeah, you. Yeah. 
<laughs> you gotta go. Especially when he called him like after he began like the Rex Calabrese story, and like really you knew that that was Penguin's like idol, and it's like what a fucking mm. little bitch. It's like, boy, <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> yeah. I feel it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, now, upon his death, like there are pictures and documents and paperwork, and I mean we've. But even within episodes one and two, it's like he's he, Penguin's giving off like this uh, uh this feeling like he's 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 sitting with liquid gold in his hands, and like do 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 you do you guys can you, do you guys have an assumption of how he's gonna use those pictures and all those other documents? <laughs> blackmail. I mean, I got I got, I got an answer that, though. That that blackmail uh. That it holds tight. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. You know, Gotham is a place where they blackmail politicians, they blackmail preachers, pastors, business owners, uh, CEOs. So I'm sure, you know, he's going to use that and use that to get it, gain it. <laughs> also, probably forcing the other Falcons to end up turning on each other because the more chaos is the more opportunity for him to take over you know if you can cause beef within one organization they won't see you coming richard um he's you not really for me one second my audio's bad oh god oh is, is it still bad i'm back we're good okay, okay. all right cool yeah. um he that's that was what he was going to do with the pictures. It's kind of out of his hands now because he gave it to old girl, um, uh, Maroney's wife, um, yeah. because he needed it as leverage to live. They were gonna kill his ass right then and there. And he didn't expect that. He naturally remember he had those pictures because he doesn't like VD. And I, I think and VD's gonna go, VD's gonna go, VD gonna yeah. read when the comics, his wife stepped in. Uh, not wife, his niece stepped in, but we're going to see what happens there. It looks like that other short guy might take the place of who his niece is. But um, BD going to go because he's fucking Luca's wife. I mean, yeah. that, that's who the pictures are. Yeah. That's who we had. That shit. Yeah. That's why like, when Penguin right. saw that, you know, it was like, oh, my ass is like, that's crazy. And shit like this. So it's like, as soon as he finds that out, BD's dead. And that's why they, why they tried to frame him. <laughs> For the whole Carmine, uh, not Carmine, uh, Alberto murder, because it just worked. It was like, you murder Alberto, you were the inside guy. They were the reason how you found out how the drop was. The mm-hmm. dude who's on the Urza, who's on the table, he's going to save Vidi. And then Victor Aguilar was supposed to put the jewels in Vidi's car, which was the same jewels that and Alberto sure. was going to use to yep. sp- like start this up. So it was like, it was all going to make sense. They hate VD and shit like that, but obviously, you know, it didn't go down that way. Mm-hmm. But, um, but yeah, man, like, those, back to what we were saying, those pictures, and you're asking what was going to happen of those, I know I got a little sidebar, but now nothing's really going to happen off of him, really, it's because now his wife took him, we don't know what's going on. Like, remember, yeah. she said, we want our man back, and he was coming in there, paying, like, I'm yeah. here to help you. But now yeah. he killed him. So now she's thinking, all right, you just killed one of our guys, a chapo, a capo of yep. the Moronis. So yep. in retribution, mm, here's these pictures of John Vitti fucking Lucas' wife. That's what I'm thinking is happening next episode. Yeah. And so now Lucas got to deal with that and then also got to deal with the fact of the side that Sophia's not going back to Italy. She's partnering up with Penguin. Gang yep. war and end fighting. Oh shit! But I'm gonna let you wait till you get there to talk more. Man. Yeah, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful, ugly sight right there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be nice. Nice build up. Nice build up. Real nice build. Up. <coughs> right, and and then um, I guess I mean I didn't want to go too far into like being introduced, but I guess he's lo- he's looking as if he's going to be a pivotal character on this show, and that's Victor. And yeah. um, for people. For people who aren't familiar, uh, um, after Penguin had had killed Alberto, he goes back to his car, and there's like some youngsters trying to steal his car. Penguin pulls out his gun, and they scatter. One of the people that were didn't get a chance to get away was Victor. Victor was then pretty much strong armed, or how you or extorted to ended up being like his henchman, 
who ends up being an asset to helping Penguin get to the top. Uh, this, uh, well, Bundle, what I really want to ask you is, is this, does, is this Victor character created for the show, or do you know if he's referenced to any comics? Yeah, he's for the show. He's for okay. the show. He's there, but some people are kind of like, you know, speculating, will he be the next Robin? As Robert Pattinson was, he said that he wanted to be in a movie where they would have a young Robin, and they, and and this is just speculation, but it's just you know one of the Robin stories is you know Batman catching the Robin trying to steal his rims, and that's kind of uh, I forget which which story that was, oh, but there's correlation yeah. to that, and a lot of people since I was even on uh, Reddit list, looking at him are just like we might get the death or seemingly death of Penguin is because, remember, he said that he worked for a guy that worked for Carmine, but he became his driver. And he said, I stole a Buick, learned to drive over the weekend. I became this dude's driver. And dude was like, oh, whatever happened to him? He was like, oh, we like to talk too much. He got with the feds and then he got popped. And he was dead now. He's Now look who Victor Aguilar is. Was Penguin's driver. Is Penguin not doing the exact same thing? So maybe it's a little bit of people are thinking that's a little bit of foreshadowing of Penguin maybe getting popped at the end, killing him, or maybe to the point he think he's dead and carries over his character in the new Batman film. And then in doing so, Victor Aguilar gets taken under the wing of Batman because they have their correlation. But that's just speculation. So, but anyway. Okay, I got you. I got you. J- James, did did you uh did, do you? Do you think Robin, if, if this series connect, I mean, goes any further in multiple seasons, could we uh, possibly get? I mean, would you be interested in seeing Robin in this series? Um, possibly in this series. There um, it is. Sorry. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Definitely. Um. I think this 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 show has a lot of backstories. And so there's a lot of good character development. Uh, you got, you know, Penguin's character development with his mother, um, dealing with uh, Victor. Uh, you have Sophia's character development, what makes her the actual insane person that she is. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of character development. So I can see late in the in this series mm-hmm. um, there being a Robin, even if it's not Victor, if it's being somebody else. And seeing a story unfold that'll tell us, you know, hey, this is Robin, this is where it's going, and then leads into a movie. Um, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Because uh, this movie picks up right after the Batman, right after, like the, two I days mean, later. The, the, I mean, like to be honest with you, like I, there's so much that happens in these episodes, and I have to go to these other channels and 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 see these breakdowns to to draw reference to a lot of the visuals that I see, and once I see. Once I've seen like these breakdowns in Easter eggs, it makes me want to rewatch it and kind of pause and just look at every individual thing. Yeah, um, it's like right after <laughs> the Batman events happen, like probably yeah. like maybe like a few days. Yeah, yeah. Few days. yeah. yeah. That's actually yeah. that's actually <laughs> one of the reasons. It's actually real quick. It doesn't even finish the line. I, I picked it up when he first finds Aguilar and he starts shooting at his car, and right before he says, "Look at what you made me do!" Right before he says, "If you catch him," he goes, "I just got." What you made me do? It's like that. But if you remember, he used his own personal car as a getaway car for Batman. And Batman fucked that car up and destroyed that. So that plum Maserati he got, he just got, which is why he was mad about that. <laughs> yeah. That movie is like, yeah. it runs so concurrent like that. And I picked that up. I was like, you're right. You did just get your car back. And now you're getting your rim snatched and you're shooting at it. <laughs> Day later. Right on, Jonin, uh, Jason Todd. He said Jason Todd tried yeah. to steal Batman's rims, and Batman has never laughed so hard. That was funny. And, and they also, Aguilar has a, a similar background, too. I mean, um, what did they say? That he was from something, Crestview or something like that, and they got completely flooded. So basically, Aguilar is running around homeless. Todd was homeless yeah. when he found him, too. So there's a couple of correlations, you know, why some people online were thinking, hey, could Aguilar be like, Matt Reeves's world of version or something like that. I mean, uh, Robin, excuse me. I yeah. don't know. Like I said, all speculation. Yeah. Did you guys uh, point out on um, looking at? Uh, uh, well, hold on. Real question is: Is what state has Gotham always been in? New York. I think it's New Jersey. I think. 
and it, it some people, yeah, yeah. And some people I mean, say it, it, it said New Jersey on uh, one of the license on the license plate, but in my mind, I've always thought Gotham was like New York or uh, Chicago. Um, yeah. uh, a lot of people say it's Chicago. Um, yeah, I was gonna say yeah. due to uh, the weather. Uh, if you if you if you know, it's always cold in Chicago. Uh, there's summers. It's not you've never seen a summer day in Gotham. Mm. <laughs> and it's always raining, always dark. So, uh, now, now you think about that, you really gotta think about that because no boys from real city, Metropolis is. I really would like to see, like, hey, where is where? where hey, yeah, I had to, I had to like, think about that. Like, Hal Jordan's, like, where does that? I mean, it was because that because he was in the Air Force and it was always a beach when he was with Ogre. So I think that's more like a Carolina, a coastal line, Virginia, Carolina, Virginia, Virginia, something like that. But you're right. Where is Metropolis in Gotham? Who is Metropolis, Chicago, New York? I think Metropolis right. is uh, like Kansas City. Uh, it, it's Midwestern. <laughs> well, you're right because no, because you're right because he landed in Kansas and Metropolis yeah. is that far from Kansas. Yeah, so you're so right. It's like it's like uh, it's like Kansas City or something like you know one of those towns, and then you have Central yeah, City, yeah. which is uh, <laughs> Central City is just as bad as Gotham. Um, yeah, uh, that's true. So where is that at? Uh, yeah. I, I know where they film Arrow at, but Baltimore. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, I'm thinking about it. It's like I really don't know like where they would really represent like in their country. You know what I mean? I'm, I guess you don't know that with Marvel either. But you know, DC tries to make it a little bit more grounded to the point that you could actually maybe pinpoint. But now I think about it. I would like to see a, a a planned out official map of where each city is in a um, country and similar to ours. The thing about uh, Gotham, which makes it similar to Chicago, is um, there's a lot of plays in Gotham. People go to see live shows, and similar to Chicago, they, they have a lot of live shows and lights that okay. they attend. I but I do. I do know that I didn't mean cut you off, but I do know Christopher Nolan was going for, at least in his trilogy, he was going for a New York feel. You know, because even with yeah. the, the subways that were running yeah. uh, above seas and stuff like that, even though they do have that downtown in Chicago, but mm-hmm. the the waters, the beaches, you know, stuff like yeah. that, the fact that they couldn't get over, you know how um, they're connected by boroughs and be, uh, bridges and stuff like that. In the yeah. first movie, when Scarecrow, yeah, those bridges you know, and stuff like you know, movies. yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. different boroughs when and Scarecrows. Yeah. Pathogen mm-hmm. stuff went off, you know. Cops yeah. wouldn't go there to that borough, that borough, this right. thing, that stuff like that. So, at least in Christopher Nolan's you know representation of it, it was yeah. supposed to be more like New York, and I think that that's the version that captured not only us but the casuals to be like, "Hey, yo, this is sick." The first Batman Begins was ill. Second one, we yeah. got Joker. Are you kidding me? With Heath Ledger, and then the third one, you got Bane, and that voice was like, "What the hell?" Yeah. And it captured everybody. So that yeah. really that's embedded into people's minds so because of that notion that's why i think more people might lean towards new york and the east coast side of it but i do see chicago yeah yeah and and then also um the crazy thing is that they're filming the batman and this series over in europe wow so the scenery is some is, is a lot of scenery that we've never seen okay. so okay. Okay. it makes it a lot more difficult for us to identify anything Okay. Yeah, uh, I mean, okay. But yeah, I mean, it's it's creative, and to be honest know. with you, they've done a good job. Because to me, I I wasn't able to pinpoint it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, DC, when they do their shows, um, they do not film in America. So Arrow and Flash were filmed in Canada. So um, it makes it in uh, Vancouver. So a lot of those shows were unable to. Even Batwoman, also, we were not, we were unable to identify where they're at, you know, because you got these these shows that come out now, and you're like, oh, that's downtown LA. I walked that block before, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they have they have a lot of scenes in places where we are unable to identify. Yeah, they they actually do that in Amazon. Um, you know, the boys supposed to look like it takes place in New York, so like that. All the boys yeah. every season filmed in Canada. Yeah. Wow. yeah, I guess it's just, a, I don't know, a logistics yeah. thing or a money thing. I don't know what it is, but it's like you hire 90% American actors, but 
all filming is done in Canada. So. Uh, Man. cheaper uh, locations. And That's something. Yeah, yeah. Also, um, they have different laws as far as their uh, writers and acting unions overseas. And then okay. on top of that, um, it makes the scenery more unidentifiable. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, but American oh, show because you gotta think people who live in LA they know what LA looks like, so mm. they know that block, they know that that neighborhood. Uh, if you've ever watched Law and Order with somebody from New York, <laughs> mm-hmm. they'd be like, "Oh, they're down on Second Street. This is unrealistic." <laughs> <laughs> You know, this is the busiest stoplight in the world. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, I even, yeah. here. <laughs> I got it. I mean, I mean, it definitely worked out, and I and you know, I guess uh, uh, weather wise, you know, it, it'll probably prevent a lot of delays with, with you talking about you know the the, the scenery, etc. Um, so I had I had somebody in the Discord in a group say that they were like a, like slightly disinterested in. Uh, well, actually, I mean, I don't think he'll mind it. I'll just say it. If he's mad, we'll talk about it in the morning. Uh, Darrell said that he really didn't see this show being, like, that interesting because, like, like how, like, like Batman not showing up and interrupting anything that's going on just doesn't seem realistic. Well, I mean, quite honestly, in this first episode, uh, you know, Penguin waited till daylight to dump off that dead corpse with Victor. So I mean, I mean, Bat Batman may not be on the show, but he's definitely being considered. And yeah, he's a presence. He's yeah, he def- presence. yeah, he definitely has a presence. Um, would you at this? Would you think this would be good timing for a for uh, uh for any appearance of Bruce Wayne or or Batman? Um. I, I actually don't think he'll appear too much. Um, I think right now the focus is going to be a lot of the mob. Um, if the, if there is Bruce Wayne sightings, I think it'll be the actual Bruce Wayne. I think it'll be him spending money or him buying something or something related to Wayne Corp. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I don't think I see Batman coming to save the day or popping up anywhere. Because I think they want to focus on the mob and Penguin. I don't think they want to get off topic. Um, I think the Penguin has been one of the characters who was, who hasn't recent in recent times been a favorite. You know, a lot of people like Two Face. A lot of people like Joker. Um, the Penguin has always been out there isolated. So I think. I think actually after the Batman movie, we're getting Penguin fans. You know, mm. um, think about it. I don't know if you've ever seen anybody dress up as Penguin for Halloween. Yeah, but that may change. You, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> I was about to say, that may change. Yeah. You've seen Jokers. You've seen Harley Quinns. You've seen Poison Ivies. You, you might have even seen a Mr. Freeze, but you've never seen a Penguin. Mm-hmm. So I think the popularity is growing, and I think they're gonna stay on the subject. And I think they're they're gonna build Penguin into a bigger villain than what he actually is at this moment. Right now, and in the Batman movie, uh, Penguin was not very high on the totem pole. You know, mm-hmm. he was low level, mid level boss. I think at the end of this series, we're gonna show his mediocre rise. From mediocrity to the top. Okay, I can see that. I mean, at, at one point he was an umbrella boy in in most of the stories, you know. Mm-hmm. So going from a under under boy to the king of Gotham, because in series of shows I've seen, uh, anyone goes from working for both the Maronis and the Falcons to killing them both off and being becoming the king of Gotham. So. I think that's what we're gonna see. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I agree. I agree. While uh, I guess, I guess, bundles busy. My cousin's in here. Um, I, we can we can have a little bit of humor because, you know, I guess in in the comics, Penguin has always had more of a hip ailment than a foot ailment, and we got an opportunity to see Penguin's foot actually 
Yeah. Let me see here. So, and I got a question to ask you because I want you to look at these two pictures. And some of you guys might, what I'm going to compare this comparison, y'all got to just give me a second. But even visually, y'all probably be able to get it. So, when it comes to feet, you have to make a decision. Whose foot is ugly? Uh, uglier. This is Penguin's foot. You guys got a nice. That's Penguin's foot, right? <laughs> hey, all right. You got Penguin's foot. The homie. Whose foot's uglier? That Penguin foot or the foot? Or I'm gonna get you sucking. Yeah, <laughs> which, which, which foot is the ugliest chat y'all gotta let me know is it the, I'm, I, is I got it, a third is one is it the for Jim you, Brown bro. foot or is it pink hey foot? that looked like the foot from Nutty <laughs> Professor when it popped out the boot <laughs> alright so let me see here I must I said, let me know. We, I said, we, when you, uh, we, when you, when your audio straight, cuz, let me know. We got bundle back in the building too now. Can you so, hear me now? Yeah, I can yeah. hear you. I can hear you. What up, Derek? What's going on, cuz? Yeah. How you doing? What's up, homies? Chilling, man. How do I got? Yeah, we just get started. Yeah, I. Uh, How you <laughs> yeah, I tore my pack earlier this year, so uh, I have to use this electrical stem um, and put them on on the uh the parts where it's kind of still torn and uh the electrical stem is going to help increase the healing and then uh the, my doctor wants me to use this like the, the stretching exercise for it okay. uh to you know uh kind of rehab it and all that stuff so i gotta do that first and then i'm going to be hitting arms tonight okay. i saw a guy that i follow online named larry wheels and he tore his left bicep he had to do the same thing oh, okay and now he's an arm wrestler with that. I knew why, but anyway. <laughs> well, okay, cause so so um, I take it you've watched the uh, the, the the Joker show, and uh, uh, the question I got for you is 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 you know um, how, what are your thoughts on the on the Penguin show? My fault, not Joker, the Penguin show. What's your thoughts on the Penguin show? I think it's phenomenal. It's the best television show that's going on right now. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about the uh, Falcon's daughter. Um, what's her name? Because she's an amazing, amazing actress. It's Sophia. Sophia. And actually, I was waiting on Bundle to get back yeah. to start talking Dang about it. Sophia. You can Dang see it. from the moment that she enters the room, uh, you can see the evil in her eyes. Like, <laughs> like, she really got into character. And, like, she's a straight-up gangster. Now, Penguin got her wrapped around his finger at the moment, but... She's a smart chick. Like she's, she's got one eye open the whole entire time. So uh, it's gonna be real interesting to see the dynamic between the two. But right now they're on a good page the way that uh, episode two ended. But we'll see how things unfold. But the penguin has a good way to uh, talk himself out of situations. I did. I did. Right. I def yeah. I definitely seen that. And one thing I do want to ask you guys or like throw a theory at y'all. Like it hasn't been answered yet, but I believe. That she knows Penguin freaking killed Alberto, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but 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 just just hear me out. I look, I didn't okay. say I think okay. I'm 100 okay. percent correct. Right. Right. But but the re but 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 the reason why I slightly believe that is is I don't I don't think I know that she believes that she can't do it all on her own, and she possibly knows that she could use Penguin as a tool. But hey, look, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, well, yeah, I feel the same way too. I feel the same yeah, way too. Cause, yeah, because her uncle is treating her like a little toot. She's like, hey, baby, why don't you go on vacation? This is mm -hmm. the man's world right here, mm -hmm. you know? And so yeah. she's like, I'm smarter than all y'all, which she is, you know? But she's being held back because she's a woman. I mean, that's, I mean, that's just, just, just throwing that out there. But Bundle, it, it seems as though you have the rebuttal, but rebuttal for us. You know what I'm so it's, so it's, what's not, going it's not. On? It's not like it's like game changing. I mean, I, it, it, she, you know, it could be revealed that she very well does know. But at the same time, with her reaction to finding the knife inside of uh, what was that? Callis, what was his name? Callisto. Yeah. Where was his name? Inside yeah. like that, like she saw red. It was like she exonerated Penguin long ago in her mind when he pulled mm -hmm. up. 
in the trunk of her car and screaming that blood curdling scream in the middle of his torture, mm-hmm. letting him go, talking to him, being around his, in his presence multiple times, listening to his story about how, you know, his mom got over the deaths of his brothers and stuff like that, which I do have something to say about the death of his brothers. I think that's some bullshit because I, I don't think that, well, I'll get back to that. But mm-hmm. um, I, I, she's, I think she's, I think she's moved past that. <laughs> Because mm-hmm. just understanding how she reacted when she fought, saw the knife in her most trusted guy's pocket. she Everybody mm-hmm. had lines. And she was saying one thing. Give me the gun. Like, some, 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 yeah. some, like, give me the gun. Some, 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 like, give me like, like, she saw red. And then after Luca mm-hmm. killed him, the very next scene, that was my fucking kill for my brother. This, 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 yeah. blah, blah. So she believed yeah. devout that that was, that was yeah. supposed to go down. You know what I mean? Now, it's also... Is now developing the soft spot for Penguin. Now, it's not to say that that might be wrong, and I'm not to say that mm-hmm. she may not figure out the truth through maybe Victor bullshit. But that does confirm. I mean, that does confirm it, and I did not. But it, but it, but it does confirm yeah. that it, at least for right now, she believes that yes, Alberto's killer was him, died. That's why she mm-hmm. reacted that way, and now is going with, um, you know, Penguin. But if I may, real quick, I just will say this. I think there's uh, some BS with Penguin's brothers and shit, because I don't know if you guys caught when he was telling that story about his mom getting over his brother's death. And she asked, how did your mom get over that? And he said, she died a few some something back before the blood and never got the chance to ask her. That's a bold faced lie. Now, are you saying that to protect your mom, you know, mm. from the family or something like this? Yeah, definitely. Or is that definitely. you also telling a lie about the shit like that? Because I also was thinking, like, in the because in the comic books, he killed his brothers because they ridiculed mm. him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Okay. He killed his brothers because they ridiculed him. And you see how he acts already pathologically. So is that just him saying that, hey, maybe... Remember, you said I drove that car, or whatever, something like this, where brothers died, whatever. He came out of it. Maybe that's the way he's scarred or something like that because of it. But who's to say he didn't do it on purpose? And this is right. just the way he's telling that, hey, they died, yeah. blah, blah, blah. This is how my mama did this. Right. Because as soon as she asked, hey, how did your mom do it? She died a few years back. Didn't even get to ask about it. Went on, changed the next subject like it was nothing. Right after that, his mom also, said the dimensions. That's how you so, protect your family. That's how you protect your family. It's how you protect your family. Did. Mm-hmm. It's how you protect your family, but I think I mean, he's well, been lying about too. Alberto's death <laughs> the entire time, so who's to say he's not lying about, you know, yeah. his brother's death yeah. and shit like that? And, I, yeah, I got some questions. I got, some, I got a question. Um, it seems as if Sophia trusts Penguin a lot. Um, something dynamic happened before she went away to Arkham, mm-hmm. and they haven't really spoke on it. Yeah, he was, uh, I, I know the answer. Uh, Penguin was Carmine's right hand man for like twenty right. plus years. Yeah, for the longest time, ever since Sophia was little. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that's why, like, when he sits there, you know, he's like, I loved Alberto and stuff like that. That's why that could kind of fly with her because he knew him as kids. He even said that again. Yeah. That's why you've been a soldier for a long time. That's why Pops always liked you. You were a good one. Yeah. The thirty one. Blah blah blah. Even when mm-hmm. Al was waving that gun in his back, like, ew, how? We good? Like, hey, you want to sit in the back? Like, you can yeah. see the familiarity yeah. that this has been here for yeah. decades and shit like yeah. this. And he was Carmine's right hand man. He right, was in right. the comics, and he was even right. when um in the uh, in, in the movie prior to this when Bruce Wayne first came out. You know what I mean? And they were all in like you know walking to the funeral, and he was just like, hey, be careful. That's the prince of the mm-hmm. city. Penguin was right next to Carmine with the whole yep. family and everything. Yep. So that's why he feels like jaded and slighted that VD and them are doing the way it is. Mm-hmm. It's like, mm-hmm. listen, y'all just got here. I was that nigga. I was mm-hmm. the operation. Now y'all switching my shit to Robin's business. Yeah. Hey. Y'all cut me off, bro. I'll get long with hey. No, no, no. <laughs> I feel though, I feel though that I think Sophia might have had like a murder spree or done some a really heinous act before she went to Arkham and I think mm. either Penguin was around or involved because they seem to have a special relationship. Seems to be she he's the one that she can confide in, she can tell her secrets to. Mm-hmm. Um so I think that Sophia knows that Penguin killed her brother. 
But I think that as long as he keeps finding proof that it wasn't him, she's just going to ride with it and handle it accordingly. That'd be an interesting take, too, yeah. Because she, you got to think, uh, she already figured out that Penguin knew Alberto's plan and what he was planning to purchase. Exactly. Those drops. Exactly. So exactly. That only comes from having communication. I, I think she literally knows everything. She, she's just, it's like a woman. She can't, she can't prove it. And like, it's, yeah, I'm about to say, she's she like a woman who knows the guy head. is lying, but going along with it because she likes the guy. Or like I mean, it's, he's he's definitely a valuable piece on the on the on, on the chessboard. I mean, out of the situation, he's he's worth keeping alive than getting rid of. I mean, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, and I every mean, time think, she figures him out, he keeps having a way out. Yeah, he's getting saved like last minute. I'm and and the and the reason why the reason why I mentioned that is is. Um, the the fam it seems like the families and, and the relatives that that are involved there don't really like want to get behind her because she just got out of the asylum, and 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 that's even I mean that's even before then that's just me this is me and my that's just within me and my imagination I think even if she found out her that she killed her brother she'd be mad I don't know if she'd all the way kill him I think that she would still want to use him to get what she wants and then probably kill him. <laughs> right now she needs allies she needs somebody that will work for her or with her the family's not going to do it um also they're not going to follow a woman uh that's that's not the italian mafia way so also though i have a, I have a point that i just want to put out there mm-hmm. you know how she's really the smartest one in the family right yeah so if she's the smartest one in the family but penguin keeps on talking his way out of situations that even gets her confused maybe she's like hey i really don't like this motherfucker but he's the next smartest person next to me you know and so mm-hmm. if i really want to build this empire be king of gotham and kind of stay away from the batman maybe i need him just as much as he needs me yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, bundle, you're shaking your head. It sounds like you that 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 that, that it, it's not something that you necessarily agree with. So, like, well, what's going on? What's going on here? She's in the dark. This girl just got out of Arkham. She, he, I mean, oh, Vidi, Vidi gave her the benefit of the doubt. Luca gave her benefit of the doubt. You've always had the ability to sense bullshit, but we've seen her in her vulnerable states. She's clawing at her neck. You got Dr. Julian Russ that's pretending to be this season's scarecrow. Count with me, breathe down, blah, blah, blah. She's sleeping in the closet because she can't be back and immersed into. I mean, she's definitely being underestimated by the family, but she's not being underestimated by Penguin. And she's extremely fractured and broken. Extremely. I mean, the dream she's having, seeing Alberto getting his head blown off, his shit going like that. She's going through that whole EDR type of thing, rehabilitation and all that. So, like, I mean, to feel that she's the smartest one in the room, okay, IQ-wise she might be, but as far as a player on the field, she's got no voice, no no presence, no anything like that. She's Mm -hmm. only out is because they got too many criminals to keep up with because of what the Riddler is doing. And so she's I trying agree. to keep up and understand what's going on just as much as everyone else. I hey. I, I, I firmly don't know, believe that hey. she does not know that uh, Penguin I, killed her brother, but I do believe that she will find out. Hey, I will say this. I'll say this. There is a really, really small line between genius and crazy. <laughs> there is. There is. <laughs> but, but most I, people I, that are geniuses have, a, have some crazy with them. You're right. You're right. They do. Yeah, you ever heard of Kanye? Yeah, (laughs) they do though. But she's gonna have to figure out something because everyone knows that she's a convicted murderer. Everyone knows what she looks like. Everyone knows she's crazy, and everyone's dismissing her. So it's gonna be interesting to see how she builds through the ranks with. Because I, I want to know what leverage they have. The only leverage they have right now is Al Shipman that neither the Maronis or the Falcons really know about. That's it. That's it. You lost your leverage with the blackmail with the pitchers. The Falcons think they were sending your ass off to Italy, so we don't expect to see you at all. Penguin, we shipped your shit to Robbinsville. We don't expect to see you in Gotham, period. So now it's like they don't see us coming. Now the Mar- I, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what the Maronis do. I, I, I think the, but it's, I, I think Sophia and Penguin are dealing in the, in the idea of 
I want to be underestimated. Yeah, they, they do. They do. But I just, I wonder what's their next play. Because I understand how the Maronis would move next is you killed our guy. So now we expose Johnny Vitti, kill your second in command, and cause discord in the family it allows us to get better. I understand that part. Where do Penguin and Sophia go? All of your leverage is gone now. All of it's gone. You, you, your importance of Alberto finding a killer, out, gone. Filner, whatever. We sent you to Italy. You're not supposed to be here. Penguin, Robbinsville, gone. What is your angle now? How do y'all get in? Who do you fuck over? What what happens? So that's going to be I interesting. See, I see Luca dying. I see um, I see Luka a lot Dodge. of robberies from the team. <laughs> Luca dying. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. I see him die. I, I, see, <laughs> I see a lot of robberies. I, I look at them just how he had robbed the drops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I look yeah. at a lot yeah. of stash houses being robbed. I, I look at the Falcons being taken advantage of and raped slowly but surely, and they're trying to track down who it is, not knowing it's the people that are directly close to them. Working inside. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah I, could, I mean, I, you got to look at it. That. Penguin knows the stash houses. He knows the whore houses. He knows the drug houses. He knows the drop routes. He knows the politicians they pay. <laughs> Oh, I got I, I got a theory for you. I was about to but, say, but, but I, I'm away. I'm away. I'm away. I'm away. I'm away. If I think, if I think, you, you, if what you, if we're thinking the same thing, bundle, we're gonna get there in just a moment. Uh, I'm gonna write I, it on my I hand got, just in case I forget it. I got a, I, I got, I, I got a question. This one thing: Who do you think is richer, the Falcones or the Waynes? Wayne. Wayne. Wayne, Wayne, way up there, Wayne, way, way Wayne, up there, because you know, like, Wayne. like, like in the in originality, they both existed at the same time. When, when you Wayne, when you Wayne. get into the DC, when you get into the DC universe, there's only like four other families that can compete with the Waynes and money. One of them is Hawkman, and one of them is uh, um, uh, oh boy, Green uh, Green Arrow. What's his name? Oh, Arthur. Uh, uh, what's uh, his Ollie. name? Uh, Ollie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ollie. Yeah. Oliver. Oliver. Oliver, uh, Oliver Queen. Yeah. Oliver, Oliver Queen. Queen. Why can't I think of his yeah. name? Jeez, yeah, Oliver Queen. Yeah. He has a very, very similar story to Batman. His family is billionaires. Um, yeah. And then uh, the person I just said before, Hawkman. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wherever his stuff like this. Yeah, because he uh, has the his um, nymph, me- nymph metal. It's spelled yeah. with a nine. It's weird, but it's called nymph metal. And it's like the most precious. So it's, it's like vibranium and adamantium mix in the DC world. Can't find it anywhere, but he has an abundance of it. And basically, so if you, wait, you seen Black Adam? Yeah. You seen Black Adam? Okay, remember when he got uh, Pierce Brosnan's Doctor Strange? Not, uh, not Doctor Strange. Yeah, uh, Doctor uh, Fate together. Yeah. yeah. You know, remember the billionaire mansion he was in, the mm-hmm. old underground yeah. facility he had a little like X-Men? Like, yeah, yeah, like Hawkman. Hawkman like yeah, Oliver Queen, Bruce Wayne, Lex Luthor. These are like the richest guys in DC. Yeah, yeah. with the exception of a few other people. But yeah, there. Yeah. But no, does he have as much Carmine Falcone, the Falcone family, the Salvatore Moroni family? No, they're rich, but they're not billion, 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 billionaire rich. No. Right. Okay. Um, okay. So my my follow up, you know, uh, to another direction. I think you were kind of hinting on that, and that's probably what you've written down on your hand. Do you guys see this season, would it be another politician, or are we going to get a chance to 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 see the, uh, the start of Harvey Dent? Oh, my God. Someone go. Someone else go. Uh, I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm about to go. For <laughs> because there's another politician as well that's corrupted, because, someone, because, someone because there, there's a politician that's there before before someone Harvey's there, so is Ooh, he going to be there, or then we're going to get Harvey Ooh, first? Someone else go. All right. <laughs> well, I, I, I do want them to take their time with Harvey there because the last time we got him in cinema, it was in just one film, right? Mm-hmm. So it was kind of like one and done. So mm-hmm. it should be a slow progression uh, during mm-hmm. the series, and then have him turn into Two Face maybe at the end of Batman 2. Like, kind of as a result of maybe Batman fucking up in some type of way to where he turns into uh, Harvey, uh, he turns into Two-Face by the end of the movie, but Batman doesn't fight him or Harvey Dent doesn't die at the end of the movie. Like, save, save Two-Face for the third film. I think that would be pretty cool to see a long, drawn-out a long drawn out Harvey Dent story. 
See, this is this is when it's starting to get good. I gotta get my 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 Birdman hand rubs in right now because y'all already know this particular Batman has already ran through Joker because he's locked up right now, and he just locked up Riddler too. Right. I got a question for you on that. Do you think in the Batman two we're gonna get any flashbacks? of how the Batman defeated the Joker and how his face is all fucked up. Um I don't think he's a Joker yet. I'm gonna I, okay. He is, he is. If, yeah, oh, he is? Okay. Yeah, he's he a is, Joker. Yeah. So so honestly what I think is gonna happen is is once whatever the final boss is defeated, there's gonna be a segue of motion that's gonna set something up. Cause 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 it, once I found that at, once I was once once it was reestablished that Riddler and Joker is still in that asylum, I immediately started getting the Arkham video game vibes. And this this has just got my brain stimulating. And you know what? We still probably will get a Harley. We'll probably get a Har- a Harley uh, uh, an attorney Harley as well. That's bound to happen too. Now, Bundaduski sounds like he's trying to hold back a lot. Right nah, now. Ross, Ross, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Ross, what's Ross, going Ross. on, Ross? What's up? What's up? What's uh, what's 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 the uh, how do you you know what's you your said thoughts something on about Harvey Dent? About, about what's your thoughts on Harvey Dent and and, and, and like Sophia in, and Sophia and all this going on right now? Uh, how I'm looking? Um, uh, I think Harvey might pop in, pop out. Um. He was in the in the movie shortly. He had a few scenes. Is he so, gonna hit that? Is Harvey gonna hit that? <laughs> <laughs> Is Harvey gonna hit that crazy chick? <laughs> I, I hope not. You know what I mean? I, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no for Harley's safe for Harvey's safety. You know what I mean? <laughs> Because I mean, now I mean, I, I gotta remember. I, I believe he still had some bit of a relationship with some of the gangsters and mobsters a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. As an That's attorney, about to fall, ain't it? That's about to fall. Oh shit! I just looked. My bad. So we gonna see. We gonna see. I I would hope not. Yeah. So you hope not? Okay, okay, okay. Well, bundle like this, this room on the floor now. What's what's going on? It seems like you holding back a lot right now. Okay, you asked about Sophia, and you asked about um who who else we could expect coming in, maybe even a Harvey Dent or anything like that. Okay, so as far as that goes, tell a little background because. Who was it? Jonan mentioned Long Halloween. It was the very first time we even saw Sophia. And so when you ask about Sophia and Dent, um, when she was first introduced, obviously big brawlic, whatever like this, she wanted to be taken more seriously, obviously misogynistic, whatever I'm like this, Marker's face, whatever like that, to, you know, resemble her father. And then, which you, I don't know if you really know, uh, the correlation of why I got excited when you said them two together is that the reason why Harvey Dent is two-faced is because of Sophia. Mm. Honestly, mm. when her father was um, gunned down, she swore revenge, but she wanted to also go after Carmine, uh, not Carmine, Harvey Dent, because Falcone was the one that brought justice against her father to even have him be put out in public, to be shot in public. So she hates the Maronis, but she wanted to go after fucking Harvey Dent first. So what she did is that when, uh, before Salvatore Maroni could take the stand, she was the one that actually gave him the acid in the courtroom that he threw on Harvey Dent, which made him Two-Face. Hmm. That's that's actually the origin of Two Face. That's it, Sophia is the one that started that stuff. But in that same long Halloween thing uh, comic that uh, Jonan mentioned, we were talking about how there, can, uh, who else can come across? You said Harvey Dent, and then we also mentioned Catwoman. Catwoman is the one that paralyzed Sophia. She's the one that threw her out a window. But in like the mm. episode, it may have been like, okay, I'm holding your hand, whatever, and then you let my hand go and shit like this. Catwoman is the one that threw her out a window. She was paralyzed, went overseas to Italy. They performed a surgery on her. She was able to walk again, 
but came back to Gotham acting like she was still paralyzed, like I can't do nothing, and then by night would stand up and then become the hangman and kill people. Mm, that's, that's why in she the book. became that's the in, hangman. That's, okay, in the comics. But they yeah. would act, act, they act in this show that she was only killing women and shit like this. I was like, no, nah, in the comics, she was killing cops, politicians, anyone that had anything to do to put her daddy up or anyone that was with the Maronis and shit like this. She shaved her head, all that crazy bullshit and stuff like that. But it's interesting with that being known is because on the side, Carmine's daughter is Catwoman. That was Selena Kyle, yeah. uh, Zoe yeah. Saldana's, which yeah. would make her her half sister. Yep. So is she uh-huh. gonna come back with her half sister now that her father's dead and everything? Her half brothers in shambles and blah blah blah, which would also make Robert Pattinson's love interest Zoe Saldana's Catwoman come back. And if she does come back, will they have a fight? Will she throw her out the window to make her paralyzed? Will they join forces and destroy the family from inside? That's why when you were saying other characters that could come in, I'm just like, Sophia has connections and correlations with Dent and and her. And in this universe, she's the one that makes Two-Face. Or on the other hand, Selena Kyle Catwoman is her sister. Where? Bro, like, Mm -hmm. you got a lot to go ahead and go through and process here. And if that happens, how does Penguin handle that? Yeah. Bro, you should be a writer for the show. <laughs> <laughs> we found the writer of season two. <laughs> so I love this shit, man. This is my shit. I love it. I, I love, anyway. I love the, I love the Dragon Ball um artwork you got behind you. Oh, and my, cousin, my cousin, my cousin tweaked me because I literally thought he was in a real arcade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember when you did that. Dude. I was like, yeah. I was like, bad. yeah, he went all in for yeah, today. Yeah, he did. It was like, yeah, he was at the arcade. That's great. I remember when you first did that too. I was like, Jeff. Okay. Then I this was like, I told you I was getting new backgrounds, bro. I'm out here. <laughs> But um, Hell yeah, man, the show is the show is awesome, man. I, I I love the Game of Thrones, Sopranos, is feel like I said. If you didn't use any comic book names, you wouldn't even know this is a comic book story. It just feels like a good gangster story, like mm. power type shit, like what it like you know the wire. It's it's just it's good. It's just good. It's definitely. So I, I, I um, I'm, re- I'm really excited for this. Um, you guys, I mean, do you guys think that there, we're going to get? Um, do you think that we'll get any episodes this season of like seeing a uh, Harley possibly try and manipulate her way into having an interaction with Joker? Or do you think you know he'll be whispering or talking behind that metal door in the asylum? Do you think they're going to go into the asylum at all? Uh, I think they're gonna go into um, Sophia's experiences, so she might have a few flashbacks of running into the Joker, running into the Riddler, or That's whoever awesome. yeah. is in there acting crazy. You know, yeah. yeah. So she, yeah. you might see a, a few nightmares. You might I'm not see... even expecting them to go that deep. If they do, yeah. this show's gonna be legendary. This show's gonna be. <laughs> if they it's go good. that deep. Even if the even if they show Batman one time, like I feel like that's huge. You know what I mean? So it's like, whew, all right. And, and then um, what's that? Okay, is that villain called? Is it is it uh is it Black Skull? Uh, that? Black Mask. Black Mask. Um, do you think does he tie in during this time frame at all? Dude, do you think bl- he uh, dude, uh, a uh, Black Mask is. He's he's after the fall of the family, so um, I he don't would have to be we, another season. I don't season, think we man. would get the fall of the families this season. He could be hinted at, but he would be in like you know maybe at the end of the next Batman movie or in season two. I think you would get, like I said, I think you would get who Aguilar is coming to be. Um, before that, I've heard some speculation of adding a Doctor Freeze in here. Um, we'll see where that goes. Um, I can see that uh, post, post, post but, um, after but, 2020. Yeah, but as far as Arkham, I don't think, uh, like I said, I think Ross hit it best. I think there'll <laughs> be like maybe some flashbacks of her in there, maybe coming across someone who was supposed to be your representation of this guy, maybe your representation of Deadshot, your representation of yeah. Killer Cry. I, I don't know how they'll do that, but I think, yeah. you know, they'll do something like that, you know what I mean, in flashbacks. But like I said, at the end of the day, this is Penguin's show. 
Mm-hmm. So we're gonna go only go so far with the Falcons and the Maronis as far as pain will take it. At the end of the day, we got to see him rise and fall. Yeah, they they can do what they're doing, and clearly they're changing. They're changing. I mean, because even with the Maronis, the whole dynamic of the Maronis have changed. Him having a wife, he don't have a wife in the comic books, and she's yeah. Iranian and shit like this. And I, I I saw that Matt Reeves in the interview was bringing the fact that in today's world, how the Iranian mob has actually taken hold of like upper middle, obviously it's not Middle East, but you know upper eastern uh, country in between Dagestan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan and all shit like this and how the rise of the Iranian mob has came up and even taken place in some of the Italian guys and they've come together that's her whole play in this she's not in the comic books but it's going to be interesting to see what they do with that so I have no idea actually what they're going to do with this I, I, I should not say it out loud holy hell because they, they've added they've added a lot of new dynamics because even what they've done with Sophia, she even though she's that strong willed minded that she is, everyone already knows she's hangman. And the whole thing about her was no one knew she was hangman because she was paralyzed. So now everyone knows it. So it's like, like I still, like I said, like, like I said, I went back to the original question I had before. I know you kind of already answered it, but I really don't know where the next pivotal point that they're going to hang on to. I know where the Maronis are going to go, but now that Alberto's murder has been solved, now that Penguin is off the chopping block, now that Castillo is dead, now that you're supposed to go back to Italy, how are y'all supposed to leverage anything with either family? Now the family needs you anymore. So it just, Al shipment better be something, bro. I got a question for you guys. Mm-hmm. Who would y'all rather hit? The Iranian <laughs> woman? The Iranian woman that's married to Falcone, or would you hit Sophia? Iranian. Mm. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said that way too fast, Iranian. Yeah. Wait, you don't. You... Okay, I know my answer, but I I need to know why you said Iranian so fast. I I mean, a lot of wounds on on that body, you know. Once, once so wait, wait. because what's it? What's your? Is it? Is it? Isn't it relentless attitude? Uh, your YouTube page. No, my new YouTube page is uh, Derek Simmons IFBB Pro. Oh, you got a new one? Yeah, they keep taking me off. Oh, oh man. Man. Dude, all right. Well, I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. All right. Well, um, send that. Send that. Okay. Send that. Send that to me so I can add you into my description there. When you get opportunity, hey, that liver video know. shit or supplement you made, I actually took to heart, but I, I forgot oh, okay. what it was. Yeah, but I, I forgot which video it was specifically. But I stopped taking a specific type of milk thistle that had an ingredient you spoke on. I threw that shit uh, out immediately. <laughs> I see. But anyway, yeah, uh, I, I want to yeah. stay on the topic though. I want to stay on the question. Yeah, my yeah, my yeah, 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 yeah. Me yeah. too. Me too. Me too. That's what I try to say. Anyway, my bad. My bad. But um, uh, yeah, you had a point. I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, what was it me? Someone, someone, someone was. Well, I, I was going to say, I was going to say, it's, it's a tough choice because for me, both, both are freaks to me. So it's like, uh, I'm curious, man. It's, it's a hard choice for me. Okay, okay, Ross, you said Iranian immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Okay, I, I, you, you, I mean, okay, listen, her voice was something different. I give you that, and actually, she's yeah. an incredible. The thing is, no, she's actually an incredible voice actress. I, I forget how to pronounce her name. But my favorite video game I play right now is Destiny 2. She's the uh, she's the voice actress of uh, Maya Sundaresh, who is the protagonist. Not the protagonist, the antagonist of the season I'm playing right now. Anyway, she's been in plenty, plenty movies. She was actually in X-Men 3. I don't know if you remember when they found that uh, cure to take the mutation from all the mutants. Remember that shit? Mm-hmm. At the very, very end. And then yeah. that one dude, that Asian dude from Rush Hour, hugged that one lady and put the spikes in her and killed her. She was the only mm-hmm. bitch that knew that she like that. That's the same bitch. That's, oh, it. Wow. That's, that's his wife. That's her. I'm here. Anyway, my point is, what was my point? Shit. <laughs> my bad. Um, God damn it. What was my original point? You I'm know. Sorry. You know what? I, I, I've gone on so many tangents. I forgot the original point. I'm sorry. I'll take I'll I'll take Sophia because oh there I was, know there I, was. Can, I can yeah. I I know I can handle her. I can get her to a point to where she ain't about to kill me, and I like her as I like to keep her around as an asset. Man, I seen what Doctor Julian Rush was able to do to her to calm her down. Remember that? Yeah. And she did hit him one time, but I thought they was gonna start fucking. 
<laughs> it, it, it didn't seem kind of like he, he had her like this. You're like, he clearly is. I'm not doing with, with, with respect. I'm not doing that to the old Iranian snatch. I just not. I'm not going like that. But her though, I mean, she got a little some, something to her for. And at the same time, the dude's name was Doctor Julie. I mean, what's my hey, first here, name? Here you go, man. You can view a few. And don't, and don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. No, that, that that picture right there is AI. But don't get me wrong. I feel you. But it's you, tough. Ain't, you ain't about to throw this upper 20, low 30-year-old poon in front of me and then this in front of me. I'm going to take the other one. I mean, I mean come on. I mean, Sophia's so. dangerous, though, because I told you she got those evil eyes, right? Mm-hmm. She's so, dangerous. I, I'm but if she like, feel comfortable with you, she fuck with you. But also, mm-hmm. I'm thinking, like, okay, let's say if I'm on top, right, and I'm looking at those eyes and I just see that pure evil, I might bust a nut fast. That, if I exactly. Fast, exactly. If I bust exactly. a nut fast. She might kill me. <laughs> I'm giving her, I'm giving her the hang, man. Right, that, that, that body right. marked up, you know. You know what I'm saying? Sub, like, a out, and and marks. like a subway and hard. I, I ain't talking about looking at the body. I'm talking about looking at the eyes. It's the eyes. Yeah, I'm clapping. <laughs> I like looking at it all. My bad. I'm yeah. clapping in cheeks. That's facts. I'm definitely taking Sophia down. I'm taking Sophia Dizan. And that's not the same actress that played. And it's crazy on my notes. I was going to uh, ask you guys, and you beat me to it. I was like, Alita? is she sexy? Is she, is, am I weird for thinking she's sexy? And then you beat me to it because I'm. Hey, hey, who's the actress that eyes, played? Bro, uh, eyes, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> What's her name? There's another one, though. You talking about Penguin's girlfriend? No, no. Uh, I know like, you talking about is. Eve. That's Eve. That, 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 that's our girl from uh, Living Single. Ain't that girlfriend? No, that ain't That ain't Kim. That ain't Kim. No, no, no. Nah, 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 nah. Well, who that? Okay, well, she look like it. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> anyway. Nah. Uh, have you ever seen What's the Worst That Could Happen? With Martin Lawrence? Yeah, yeah. Is that, the, is that the girlfriend that was there? She got a little older. She, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're right. Damn, that dude look alike. Is that the one with Danny you're DeVito? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, with the ring. <laughs> Who is this girl? Who said girl? That's not the same actress, right? Hey, cuz, what you think of that chick I sent you on TikTok? She's ridiculous, right? Freaking gorgeous. Freaking I know. gorgeous. I was like, is this AI? I was like trying to see if that was AI or not. She's, she's definitely the quintessential face of whatever product. She looks like one of them bots on the Instagram, but she yeah. was real. Somebody that said, you, you look in your inbox, you get a freaky message on Instagram. <laughs> hey, right. guys. BTG, what up, though? My boy, my boy. All right, guys, Dude, man. They um, look alike. Wow, okay. All right. yeah. There isn't a third episode. What you talking about, BTG? You've seen the last two. The third yeah, one. New episodes third, come on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, new episodes come on Sundays. Sunday. Yeah, you, you ain't talking not that that not that Agatha. Unless you talking about that talking about that 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 prequel. Hey I, I, I man, we ain't even bringing Agatha up. We ain't even doing that. This is a penguin stream. Ha 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 ha. Know what I mean? Penguin. Ass. I mean Agatha. I, I I watched the first episode and a half and said nah. I'm about to say, I, once, 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 once I saw those interviews and what was going on, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spark, I'm gonna rock star this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely gonna rock star this one. Um, well, guys, um, is there anything I want to include, man? I think we, I think we, uh, we babe roof this this stream tonight, guys. Hey, man, I, 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 I didn't have too much more to add in. Yeah. I'm going to try to get in now. Yeah, show was awesome. I ain't going to lie. The show was uh, awesome. I really wish the it, other it, guys had, like, three you come know, out crazy. Sunday night, man. I'll be, I'll be tuned in. I got one more question for y'all. All right. What if the only way y'all can watch episode three is to go to a Diddy party all along Cut. with T. Diddy? That's the only <laughs> way you can watch episode three. Good, G. I don't know, man. Would you know. watch it? Nah, it's bad, it's bad would, pub would you, anyway. Would you watch it? <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
Mm. Like when I tell when I when I tell you, even if you didn't go to the second party that's in the original party, the walkout is as shameful as Jim Brown leaving <laughs> Trump's office. I'm sure it's just <laughs> like you guilty by association. You know what I mean? Yep. A lot of people at them Diddy parties, dogs. They crazy. You think Trump ever went to them Diddy parties? Facts. He got all them pictures and shit with him. <laughs> I think he went with the Clyde Davis party that Diddy was hosting. Man, he went right. to one of them, God damn it. Or you think Diddy ever went to Mar-a-Lago with that boy? Or Epstein right. Island with him? All right. Probably. This is not a place oh, I don't think he has been. You Diddy got probably got his own island, too. Yeah. Diddy did everything. A little portion. They was about to say, like, yeah, to get... To get to, to feel that unstoppable and know that many people, that's how you act the way you act, man. man that is crazy. true. I just, I just, all that I hate about the thing is that everyone that's ever, ever done work, communicated with, talked to, took a picture with Diddy, now everyone's guilty by association. And it's just like, guilty? Like, Diddy been that dude in hip hop for over the last 30 years. Everyone's mm-hmm. got pictures with this guy. Everybody like that. Not all, not everybody on fuck shit. Not everyone's baby oil and everybody. Sometimes it's just like this is P D. I remember watching Making the Band with the band and shit like this. And now all them niggas is weird just because they wanted to get a deal, goddammit. So I feel just, bad for anyone. I'm just gonna say it. this. That is a prime example by of of why you gotta put a lid on this liberalism. You gotta calm down. You gotta have a boundary. You gotta create one. And I, mm-hmm. I, I don't know how that correlates, but okay. Being liberal, being open for anything, like that's obviously not being that's not being liberal. That's just being a person. That's not the liberal is attached to uh, you know a political ideal. Being open to everything is not a political idea. That's just being a freaky ass nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that you, just, you can't you can't that attach you. that to like nah nah that that's Fox Fox mm-hmm. does things like that. Don't do that. <laughs> That's not liberal. That's that nigga. That nigga's been doing things like that in the early '90s, mid '90s, before we have even had this political climate that we're having now. Yeah, right. That's just, Diddy's just Diddy's just wow, and he, that's how he's got away with it for so long. Jesus. But if anything, I, I don't know how that would be liberals because all the pictures he takes with all people like that are billionaires and Republicans. Because they prefer to, I mean, obviously they, they, they have a side of themselves for the public and then they have a different side of themselves when the doors are closed. That's just freaky niggas, but that's not political idealism, though. <laughs> he been doing that. You, you like what you like. Niggas been gay since the beginning of time. That, that, that's, not, that's not political. But I feel you, but it's going to be interesting to see what names are introduced mm-hmm. and stuff like that, because these people deleting all their Instagrams and Twitters and stuff like that. Like, down from what? We're going to have to end this stream soon and possibly in the future do a Diddy stream. <laughs> <laughs> no Diddy. No all right, guys. No I appreciate y'all, man. We're um, looking forward to possibly um, after Sunday, sometime next week, doing another stream. Doing a reaction to the to this penguin series. Um, I appreciate you guys. If you don't mind hitting that like button for us, we appreciate the support. All right, guys. Anything y'all want to include? Stay swole. Oh, Stay man. swole. <laughs> go Colorado. Go Colorado. Colorado. There you go. I feel that. Your shit. Hey, your hey. Box. Jeff, you hopping on out. the um the uh, box unite the game? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm about to play a little bit of this stuff, but I'll be down around a few monster verses if you buy. Yeah, play yeah. I'm about... that, play some of that stellar blade. Yeah, the, the cheeks. We got we got new jiggle animations. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. I was just like, and they get, and like when she does the best moves, like the camera all like just moves like up to get you right underneath the kiss. 